What's up gamers, welcome to another video. In today's video, the Steam Deck beta client got an update. PS Stream project is ending. 007 First Light should run better on the Steam Deck. We have an upcoming schedule of all the events happening on Steam. Proton Experimental got an update. We have some new bundle deals. And finally, Valve is cracking on AI in Steam. If that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So first in news, the Steam Deck beta client got an update that adds support for Razer Reju V3 Pro Controller so let's break that down. So as you can see here for general fix the Steam Client Hang when and Nakon PS4 Compact Controller is connected. For friends in chat you can now toggle the ability for group chat member that you are not friends with to direct message you in the permissions. For Steam Input added support for the Razer Reju V3 Pro. As you can see here definitely a lot of improvement when it comes to controller support with this update. So next in news as you guys know we covered the ps stream app here on this channel we have bad news for you guys this one seems to be ending as you can see the dev wrote ps stream project is ending he states hey everyone i've decided to discontinue ps stream and we'll be removing it from all platforms i'm not able to continue maintaining the project long term but I'm grateful to everyone who took the time to check it out. So this is quite a foot bummer because I was really enjoying this app on my Steam Deck and I know a lot of you guys were. If you guys did purchase the app, you can still use this one. I was actually using it last night and it still ran pretty well. So for those of you guys who did purchase it, you might have lucked out there. As you guys know earlier, the PC specs for the requirement for 007 First Light was released and it caught a lot of people by surprise because the requirement was it needed 32 2 gig of RAM to run but it looks like that was a mistake and instead of 32 gig it's going to be only 16 gigs which with this change hopefully this should make this game run better on the Steam Deck. We're definitely going to keep our eye out for this one and definitely test it out so if that's something you guys were interested make sure you stick around for that. Next in news if you guys were wondering when the next Steam Store sale is going to be or when the next Steam Store event is going to be as well it looks like we have a schedule showcasing all of that off. So as you can see here this list all of the schedule for the seasonal sale and more. So if you guys were thinking about budgeting how you were going to buy games on Steam this year definitely pay attention to the schedule because it can save you guys a lot Next of money. News, we have a Proton Experimental update that fixes judgment freezing, Rockstar launches and more so let's break that down. So as you can see here fixed judgment freezing during tail emissions, made more games using mono game playable and improved rendering of Rockstar launcher pop-ups. So again if you guys were having issues with these definitely make sure you check it out next in these we have a new humble bundle this one titled humble playful platforms 2026 bundle and with this you get games like crumble k of the kangaroo move or die and more so again i'll just post this on here you guys take a look at it let us know which game catches your interest from this bundle the next bundle we have here is fanatical's best of indie legends bundle and with this you get games like happy game nocturnals speed runners played up flooded and so much more so again i'll post this bundle on here you guys take a look at it and let us know what your thoughts are on this next in news it looks like valve is cracking down on ai in the steam store so let's break that down so as you can see here from this post valve has significantly rewritten steam's rule for how developers must disclose AI using games. AI powered development tools such as code assistance do not require disclosure as the focus remains on content generation rather than efficiency improvement. What must be disclosed? AI used to generate content for the game, in game assets, store page market, and materials. AI content generated dynamically during gameplay, image, audio, and text, etc. So, this is quite interesting and it's pretty neat to actually see Valve doing something about this so let us know what your thoughts in the comments below all right fellas that's all the news that we have for you let us know which news stands out to you appreciate you we'll catch you in the next one until next time peace out